I have a very interesting topical subject to talk to you about today, and it's artificial intelligence in the, in the courtroom, in criminal courtrooms and civil courtrooms as well. And boy, oh boy, you know, there's been such developments, as you know, with artificial intelligence. We've got chat GTP and we've got voice synthesizers. They're working on creating fake uh, profiles of people where they're in a video. And where does this all end? And what does this pretend for the criminal courtroom? And I go, my God, you know, you could get someone who, uh, is a defendant in a criminal case, and they could, uh, the complainants say it's a rape case, sexual assault case, or a domestic assault, and they have their, their wife or their girlfriend's, former girlfriend's voice. They could hire one of these voice synthesizer companies and make up a fake, um, you know, phone call that the girlfriend made where they supposedly said, look, I was just doing this to get the kids back. This is all crazy. I'm sorry. And this, they could try and introduce this in court. Well, the first of all, there's obstruct justice, not the wisest thing to do. And I, I, it wouldn't shock me going forward when this, you know, technology becomes very good, someone trying this. And of course, the other side's going to go, this is fake. The, the complaint goes to the Crown Attorney. Uh, this, I didn't say this, this is crazy. Obviously the Crown, now, now a fundamental rule, when you're trying to introduce a document, when you're trying to ask voice memos, telephone messages, anything like that, electronic messages, a video, you have to prove it's an authentic document. You have to show that. So the defendant have to show that. Obviously in this situation, with the current state of artificial int intelligence, it'd probably be pretty obvious the Crown could hire an expert to show that's bullshit, and the accused is going to get charged with obstruct justice. Now, conversely, you might get a complainant trying this. It's not going to shock me at all. In fact, I predict in the next zero to five years, you're going to see someone try this. They're probably going to get caught with the current state of artificial intelligence. And you know, our current laws of evidence, I don't think people are going to be able to get away with this, thankfully. It's going to get caught out. And our current rules of evidence which require proof of authenticity and reliability and accuracy of a document, electronics, memos, videos, you name it, uh, are going to be able to you know, deal with this situation. But where does it leave in the future? As this artificial intelligence increases and we get these fantastic videos where it's almost impossible to tell the difference or, or voice memos or a telephone message, I don't know what the answer is that 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Certainly I know the answer right now, probably during my next 10 to 15 year legal career, it, it probably won't be a problem. But it could be in the future and this is a, a problem that the courts may have to grapple with. And But don't be surprised, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm representing the odd person charged with obstructing justice, creating these fake things because I know what's going on. And just to Funny thing, um, our IT guy today, he sent me, when I was preparing for this video, he sent me my voice talking about blogging and different things, and I went, wow, that's pretty similar. It, I mean, it was a bit off, you know, but it was similar, and, and he said if he would have worked with my, the difference for some people may have been hard to tell. So it's an interesting topic, and I, I want to tell you this, though, I want to assure you that I am not with ChatGTP. It is Mike Cruz speaking here to you from today from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching our video. We are absolutely committed to bringing you the best possible criminal and DUI educational videos. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you've been charged with a criminal offense in Ontario and require our services, please click on the link in the description below.